Hey guys, this is Woodworker Royer. And I know I showed this in my recent toolbox tour, but I just wanted to um, highlight this gear wrench kit, um, which I have here. I'll leave that out because I'm going to just put it right back when I'm done with it. But um, This kit was, I think it's $65 at Home Depot. I got it for 45 on sale. Um, I bought it with my own money. This isn't a sponsored video, but um, I used it in my recent um, scroll saw project, which the video is going to come out right after this one does. Um, and anyway, um, it is a kit with two flex head ratchets, one that is about five inches long. Um, let's see, what is it? Yeah, almost exactly five inches long. Just a little bit more. Um, so five inch long ratchet here. Again, flex head, little bit offset handle there. And then a straight handled, um, one that is well over five inches long. I don't know how long it is. Um, but it's good long. It's probably... 13 or 14 inches. Um, let me see here. I'm wrong. It's 12. 12 inches. Um, so 12 inches, but it's a quarter inch drive. But the thing that's cool about these ratchets is they're not a normal quarter inch drive. They're not a through drive, which is fine by me. I don't really think that that's that important. Um, there's very, very few instances where that is um, an issue, at least in anything I've come across. Um, and if it is, then you can either get something that's specifically for that, or you can use like a crow's foot or something like that um, that works around that. Um, you don't need a dedicated ratchet that does that that really won't be good for anything else because you can only have a, a limited number of actual sockets that work for it. But what this does <clears throat> is it's a hex drive, which means that it can use any normal um, drill bit, one inch, three inch, whatever you want to use, any normal drill bit. Um, and then it has these adapters which go from hex to a quarter inch, a normal square quarter inch drive for normal square drive sockets. Um, and what that allows you to do, if I don't drop this again, you put that in there, make sure it's in there, and then you can put your socket That's the only problem with the flex head things is they don't really want to work with one hand. Then the socket goes on there, works like a normal ratchet. Um, it also has this like thumb thing on the back of it, which is cool. Um, basically you can, you know, quickly screw the thing on or off and then you can actually use the ratchet when you need to. Um, the, that's the flex head lock can go all, all the way from there to there, which is cool. Um, I don't remember where I had this. I think I had it like that. Um, and I've just got this set the way I use my, um, for my grinder, which is right up there. Um, because I just have it set up for that specifically. Um, and that stays in there. Now this is bigger than the cheap thing you can get at Amazon. There's all kinds of brands of these, but this is the Nico one, Nico, whatever. Um, I like this. This has saved me a few times just because it's basically one inch deep. Um, it has to have a, it's a little bit deeper than that because it has to have something on the back. Otherwise the socket or the, the drill bit would just slide through it. But as you can hear, 
that's a very coarse ratchet mechanism and you can actually see it. Um, I've never had a problem with this not working. The only issue with it is because this is right here, it's really easy to bump it. Um, not a huge deal, but um, this is a little bit better. It's not as easy to, to bump this. Um, just because of everything kind of being proud of where that is, things don't tend to hit that. Of course, I haven't used this nearly as much as that one. I just got this a couple weeks ago. But, you know, just looking at the design, this is going to not be an, as much of an issue, of an issue there. Um, and then this one has this added thing on the back. Um, obviously, this is flex head. That isn't. Um, I would say that while this is basically the same idea and drive mechanism as that, um, this is obviously more of a f uh, finely made tool. Um, it's much nicer. Um, obviously, a much, much finer ratcheting mechanism. Um, this still is going to have a place in my shop. Um, I'm not going to get rid of this just because I've got an updated version of it. This is obviously going to be my go-to, but it's just not as compact as that is. That said, this does that, which makes it more compact in certain situations. It can get in other situations that can't. So, um, obviously, they're two different tools, um, but they both stay in here where they're easy, easily accessible. In fact, you know what? I'm going to take them out of here because I obviously don't have enough space for everything that's in here. And they're going to live in here now because it just makes sense. Um, that one came out of here, and this totally fits that stuff. Um so this is a great kit. I just used it on this project um, to be able to get into this area where there's not really room for a normal uh, ratchet. You could get one in there, but the flex head just made it a lot easier. And this being the only flex head ratchet that I have at the moment, um, that was what I used. Again, a normal quarter inch ratchet could have gotten in there. Um, but I have it, so why not use it? Um, <clears throat> and it made it a little bit easier because I could get a little bit more uh, movement out of the flex head than I could the, the normal uh, ratchet. But anyway, um, oh, and the other thing is a normal ratchet can't use the drill bit, which I had to use. So I would have had to use this to begin with. Um, and again, could have done it, but it wouldn't have been as easy. Um, if I didn't have one of these hex drive type, um, bit holders, I would have had to probably use an Allen wrench or a ratchet or not a ratchet, but a, a regular quarter inch drive wrench with a drill bit, which would have been a, a nightmare would have dropped it all the time and it just would have been a mess. Um, so these are a really cool tool. Um, and really well uh, thought out. And I highly recommend um, if you can get it, especially if you can get it for 45 bucks, it's worth it. Um, you'll find a use for it. It is quarter inch drive, but having a, a long ratchet like that, that's flex head and a shorter one, um, they're high quality tools. They're gear wrench, they're made in China, I think. Um, it actually doesn't say where it's made, but I assume China. Um, Gear Wrench does have some stuff that's made in Taiwan, but I don't know where this specifically is made. Um, it's kind of their cheaper line, so I would assume China. But anyway, um, wherever it's made, it's high quality. Um, it works well, um, and when you need it, it's there. Um, so I would highly recommend getting it. Um, but in any case, um, it has helped me in one project, and I'm sure that's not going to be uh, the last time it helps. So, um, and then these things are like 10 bucks on Amazon. So get one of those too, especially if you, if you don't have this or you can't get it. Um, these things are definitely worth $10. I think those are worth 45 but this is absolutely worth $10. And by the way, this whole kit, not 
not that, but everything in here um, was $45. It wasn't just the ratchets. Um, so that's a really, really good deal um, for what you get. Um, I mean, good night if you bought a 3 8 inch, uh, or if you, if you bought a quarter, a normal quarter inch drive flex head ratchet, you might be able to get one for 15 bucks. Um, and then it wouldn't probably be very good. Um, getting a high quality one or, or one that's like this caliber would be at least 20 or 30. Um, I don't know. I haven't really like looked it up. Um, but it definitely wouldn't be. You probably wouldn't even be able to get these two around. I don't even know if you can buy this by itself, this tall, or this long quarter-inch one. Um, but probably you wouldn't be able to get the two ratchets for the price of this whole kit. Um, and then this is just, you know, icing on the cake. Um, especially if you don't have this stuff, that's totally worth it. Um, you will find a use for that. So, um, anyway, uh... That's the end of the video. I hope you guys had a good, uh, I hope you guys liked it and, um, I will see you next time. This is Woodworker Royer out.